Monitoring and inspections of your construction projects are required before and during construction when construction related activities cause disturbance to soil and can impact an environmental feature or as required by a permit. Handheld and continuous in situ environmental monitoring instruments have been emerging and becoming a standard tool for inspectors. Their capability to measure and log accurate data instantly or continuously has made these tools very valuable to projects. In this video, we're going to help you find the right instrument for your project and explain what it will cost you. So what monitoring is required on a project? First, visual inspections of ESC measures. Second, water monitoring in receiving water courses or effluent discharge to analyze the effectiveness of your ESC measures. Visual inspections require high resolution photos with a date and timestamp to document what is seen during an inspection. Water monitoring consists of monitoring turbidity, accumulative flow, water level, and special parameters depending on your project and, and approval conditions. In surface water applications, other parameters can include dissolved oxygen, temperature, pH, and TSS. In sewers, parameters can include TSS and heavy metals. Rainfall is a good parameter to measure since it will influence the flow change in your background turbidity in the receiving water body. These instruments are used to satisfy regulatory and permit requirements. Instruments with more features such as remote monitoring can act as a replacement for many site visits to collect data and sample, as well as giving you eyes on site so you can react faster and manage risk. Turbidity is a measurement of the cloudiness of water caused by suspended particles, often measured by a passing light through samples, reported as NTUs, also known as nephlometric turbidity units. A common challenge on sites is correlating turbidity with TSS when required. To address this, the turbidity sample is taken at the same time as the TSS sample to correlate a relationship between the two. The sample is submitted to the lab which runs an analysis. This allows you to establish a correlation between turbidity and TSS, as well as the site and the instrument relationship. Handheld units such as manual samplers with multiple vials are small and portable devices that give you immediate readings but require you to record the data. These generally cost $1,000 to $2,500. Compact turbidity sensors that can offer continuous data logging on site will cost three dollars to $6,000, but often require an external power source and with some instruments, a data logger. Multi-parameter water quality zones can act as handhelds for spot checks or installed on site to provide continuous monitoring of multiple parameters at a high accuracy and resolution, providing the best of both worlds. The instrument can log the data internally to your smartphone or upload to the cloud. Many of these have an internal battery and offer self-cleaning. Depending on the versatility, these instruments generally cost ten dollars to $15,000 for the zone with a turbidity sensor. Remote real-time data collection is often a small add-on to continuous monitoring water quality instruments. The remote monitoring allows users to view the data in real-time as well as set custom alerts depending on what you need so you can react quickly to events. The add-on price to a water quality instrument can be as little as the yearly subscription cost of $400 for real-time monitoring or generally an additional $1,500 to $4,000 for a telemetry unit if needed. Other parameters can be added on to a monitoring station at an incremental cost. All of these instruments mentioned allow for in-situ results and immediate mitigation after sampling. When monitoring natural systems such as a stream, the turbidity of water is influenced by how much and how fast water is moving on site. Water velocity and flow rate can be measured by handheld instruments or installed flow meters on site for continuous monitoring including cumulative flow. Simple flow meters that log data are available for four to $10,000. More versatile flow meters such as Doppler or ultrasonic flow meters that have remote monitoring capabilities and can log more than one sensor can range from ten to $15,000. To get the best out of your equipment, use best management practices for installation and maintain your product with regular maintenance and yearly calibration or as required. To ensure you do this successfully, source a supplier that can provide training or hire an application expert to install and maintain your monitoring instruments on your project for a peace of mind. Lastly, Ensure your inspections and sampling are done by a qualified erosion and sediment control inspector. To find an instrument for your project or fleet, contact member suppliers within the Canadian chapter of IECA. Stay tuned for more videos for environmental monitoring and inspections 